All right, Benjamin here. So, a couple years ago, so it seems, I started fooling around with this. Sat there, did absolutely nothing for a year. I got pretty frustrated with it. And the other day, I finally sat down with KiCad, K-I-CAD, KiCad, whatever it is, and designed a, a circuit board for a triangle wave generator for a, for a project I'm building. And I was like, all right, I'm finally going to figure this out. And uh, I'm quite pleased that this is working the way it is. So anyway, I'm just doing a test loop. But the ultimate workflow, it went from KiCad to uh, design the schematic and then the actual PCB layout. From there, I exported the Gerber files. And then I used a program called FlatCam to uh, identify and fine-tune some of the settings such as the isolation routing as well as um, specify the tool bit uh, diameter and all that mess, the depth and so on and so forth. And then that, then that generated the G-code files to which I use a program called BCNC right there. So this is just a trial one run on a piece of scrap acrylic to see what it do. Um, I have never been this successful. This, so this is the most successful I've been thus far doing this. But this is on the uh, Cyclone PCB factory mill. I used to sell them on eBay. I don't know more just because they're a serious pain to manufacture and get all the parts. But uh, anyway, I'm uh, I'm really impressed. It works. And then um, I'm gonna work towards to see that um, being able to leave the workpiece as it is exactly and then use a um, use a really small bit to, uh, to poke the holes in the middle there. So this is actually backwards, this is not correct assuming that I was going to solder all the parts on top, which I might. That's an option. But anyways, just a test. Pretty cool.